Final community. It's Thrash and Zombie again. Second video. Um, I got some recent pickups over the last few weeks, month, a month or so. I have a huge stack here, so I'm just gonna start showing them. Um, nothing really spectacular here. Just some uh, ones I picked up from uh, thrift stores and a couple I got from uh, vendors on Facebook. Um, one straight from the from Earache Records again. The first uh, first one is uh, Commodore's Greatest Hits. Um, never heard listened to Commodore's before. It's a pretty good album. I just finished listening to it. Um, I actually never knew that uh, Lionel Richie was part of the Commodores. That's, you know, I guess that's something, I, I don't know. <laughs> Second one is this band called Lost Goat. It's called Equator. Um, never heard of these guys. This was a blind buy. Um, but there's... Six songs, two, three, four, five, seven songs. Um, yeah, I don't. I listen to these guys today. These are kind of stoner rock. The sleeve that was on it when I got it said in the corner it said "Great Stoner Rock from the '90s." I think this was '99. This came out. And my first copy of Fleetwood Max Rumors. Um, this is probably a later pressing. I've heard uh, everybody knows Fleetwood Max Rumors. I've heard most of the songs on here before. But I'll tell you what, Stevie Nicks, she was pretty damn hot back then. <clears throat> That's that one. This is the one I got from Earache Records, Anthrax, Warship Music, Double LP, uh, 45 RPM uh, speed. It's a re. It's a reissue. Back cover. It's a gatefold. Lyrics, pictures. It's a great album, by the way. Got their uh, original lead sing, well, not original, I guess. Uh, Joey Belladonna, the one that was with them for a while, did a lot of albums with them. Didn't realize it was 45 speed, though. It's okay. I guess it's supposed to sound better. And I got uh, Hanoi Rocks, Self Destruction Blues. Didn't realize this was a compilation album. First Hanoi Rocks album I got. It's pretty good. Let me take this plastic off. There's no glare. Yeah. Pretty good. Not something I'd uh, listen to all the time. Interesting stuff though. Here's that one. Here's another one I got from a guy, same guy from uh, England. He had this one. Stoked to get this one. Anthrax. Spreading the disease. It's a pretty killer album. First one with uh, Joey Belladonna. You know, with uh, Madhouse on it. It's probably the biggest hit with that video. They were in the Madhouse. I think this was uh, you... It's a U.S. pressing, first U.S. pressing. That's a little bit of a little bit of cash there. This one, Chicago. Kind of gotten into Chicago lately. This one is uh, seven. Yeah, Chicago seven. Double LP. Yeah, the back's the same as the front. It's a thrift store find. Chicago's pretty easy to find everywhere, I guess. And then this one, Mike Oldfield. Yeah, Oldfield? 
And however you say this, Omadon, um, um, Omadon, um, I don't know. Apparently this one was after uh, Tubular Bells. I got that one in this stack as well. Never heard him before either. Pretty interesting stuff. This I got a few weeks ago, the best of BTO. Um, yeah, didn't really know what they, what they sang. Um, yeah, oh, Taking Care of Business, that's, a, that's the one I knew. Taking Care of Business. BTO is pretty good. Bachman Turner Overdrive. Right, that's for all the ones I listened to already. Here's a stack of ones I haven't listened to yet. Steve Perry's first album, Street Talk. Um, Black Vinyl. This is back. Everybody knows this album, I guess, too. First album after you left Journey. You know, song Sherry. But yeah, there's that. This one, which a lot of people don't really like. The first album they liked a lot, but this one didn't get a lot of love. This is the Knack. Uh, but the little girls understand. Haven't listened to this to see why it doesn't get a lot of love. I like the first album. It's pretty good. Haven't listened to this yet. Most of these are all the standard black vinyl. Got uh, Robert Palmer's Riptide. You know, the big hit there, uh, Addicted to Love. Same as a, he likes having his face on the cover, apparently, kind of like Phil Collins. Riptide. John Cougar Mellencamp. Uh huh. It's a weird name for an album. Had some fairly big hits on here. Pink Houses. Guess that's it. Crumbling Down. I think I like that song. The Kinks. Soap Opera. Or the Kinks present a soap opera. <clears throat> like the Kinks. I'm getting into the Kinks a lot too. I think this is a gatefold. It is a gatefold. Look at that. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Haven't really been able to find any older, older kinks. Boy, these sleeves are a pain in the ass, aren't they? I'll get to that in a minute. Stick that up there. Here's a band my wife likes a lot. Little Feet. Uh, hoy Hoy. I love their covers. I just don't understand them. Why is there a German Shepherd with antlers and a lay around his neck? It's just. Oh, this is a double album. His back. Leave this the gatefold as well. Yep. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, custom inner sleeves with all the other album covers on there. I have quite a few little feet. Little feet. They have some weird covers. I think I got another one or two over here. Little feet. Another kinks. Word of mouth. What is this? 19... 1984. Word of mouth. I think this one. Little Feet, John Cougar. The last four I think I got at um, in Keene, New Hampshire. Keene on vinyl, it's called. This is uh, Status Quo. Quo, I think it's called. Yeah, Quo. 
This was a blind buy too. Never heard of these guys before. I checked them out a little bit on uh, Google Play Music, which is what I use for streaming music. I don't use Spotify. I don't use Pandora. I'm a Google guy. Oh, here's another little feat. Time loves a hero. Just amazing covers on Little Feet stuff. I don't think this is a gatefold. Wait. Nope, it's not. It's not a gatefold. Interesting though. Custom inner sleeve, lyrics, pitches. Trying to get through these as quickly as possible. Got a, got a huge stack over here. Nothing, like I said, really nothing spectacular. I picked the, the next few up last weekend, I think. It's Jay Giles' band, Love Stinks. Um, it's a back cover there. Custom inner sleeve. This is just black vinyl with the pink EMI label. I picked this up, not a huge fan. It's Neil Young. After the gold rush. Figured I'd give it a shot, it was only a dollar. It's back. Custom, I mean, uh, inner sleeve, I mean, uh, gate fold. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'd give, give him a shot, I guess, for a buck. I've heard some of his stuff. I mean, who hasn't heard a lot of uh, Neil Young stuff? But, you know, if I don't like it, I'll stick it in the in with the collection. Maybe if I get some uh, final community friends, I can trade. And I got it to my gold field again, tubular bells this time. Could have got a nicer copy without the uh, the name on it at uh, the Newberry Comics, which they only take stuff that really doesn't have writing on it. But theirs was like ten dollars, and I saw this, and this was only a couple bucks at the Listen Center. I mean, it's not a terrible copy. It's not scratched or anything. It's uh. Got that cool, um, cool uh, label there. I haven't listened to this yet either. Talked a lot about it on the vinyl community though. Everybody's like, "Oh, I got a tubular bells," and I got one too. Apparently, it's easy to find. This was another blind buy. I hadn't heard of this band before, but I like to cover. Checked them out to see what they were on uh, Google before I actually decided to buy it. I said, well, I'll give them a shot. It's called Blackfoot Strikes. Um, kind of glare on that. It's got a snake there. Cobra, maybe? I don't know. And they look like uh, Native Americans to me. Blackfoot is a type of a Native American people. So I guess that's what they are. I don't know. I figured I'd give him a shot. This came out in 1979. I don't know if it's an original pressing. I don't know. Like I said in my last video, I don't care if they're original pressings or not. As long as they're listenable, they don't have a bunch of scratches on them. The sleeves. Okay. <clears throat> and this one I got because my wife likes this movie. I think my kid does too. It's the Rocky Horror Picture Show. I got this as a listen as well. I I hate this movie, but couldn't pass up the record of the music, you know? It's just some funny stuff. <clears throat> Never seen it before either, so I figured I'll get it. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I got this. I'm not a country fan. I have a Johnny Cash album over here. San Quentin, I think. That... Oh, I also have the Judds. I picked that up for a dollar somewhere. But this is Johnny, um, Kenny Rogers, the gambler. Um, I just picked it up because 
Yeah, I like the Gambler. That's a good song. And I was looking at the the picture here. I don't know if anybody else knows who Aubrey Plaza is. He was on Parks and Recreation. If you look closely at this girl right here, and then look at Aubrey Plaza, they look a lot alike. I thought it was her at first, and I said it couldn't be because this album came out in like the '70s. And there's no way that could have been her, but it looks so much like her. In yeah, 1978, I don't know, I don't have my glasses, but yeah, 70s. My wife likes this guy, James Taylor. Um, I don't think I've heard of this album yet. It's a weird, uh, weird thing here. People say he's pretty good. I mean, I, I, have, I have his greatest hits. Oh wait, this flips up, doesn't it? Oh no. Oh no. It needs to be glued. I have his greatest hits, the white cover there, and I have, um... Mud Slim, or... The one where he's, like, really young. At some point, I'll, I'm going to show all the records I have at some point, but... Today's just these vinyl finds. It's running a little long here. And I got B.B. Uh, King in London. Apparently this uh, did this with a lot of other musicians. Um, Ringo Starr. That's the only one I really know. Yeah. I don't know. Another bunch of other musicians he worked with over in London at Abbey Road. Yeah. Kate Fold. I like B.B. King, I like the blues, even though I am a, a metal head, I like metal, my favorite genre is metal, but I get into anything else, you know, I like, I like jazz, I like the blues, speaking of metal, Ozzy's Bark at the Moon, got this a few weeks ago, I just stopped in this place in uh, town, a couple miles away, to get some Chinese food, and this store right down the road, so I stopped there first just to say, see what he's got. Apparently he had just got a huge um, collection from somebody, and a lot of the good stuff had already been picked over. He had a bunch of Pink Floyd, I guess, and some other stuff, and some Iron Maiden. Um, he said, I got some left over here in this box, and he said, I got some Ozzy over here, and I'm like, Ozzy, which one you got? And I looked, and it was Bark of the Moon. I've been waiting to get a copy of this. Um, pretty nice copy. Sleeves, probably VG. Records, probably VG+. Plus. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, they had Iron Maiden there, the first album. Don't know what pressing it was. Um, I wanted $40 for it, and I had just spent a bunch of money on these, some of these other records, and I couldn't, couldn't do it. But I got this one, because was, this one was $20. I said, I'll get this one. If I go back and that Iron Maiden's still there when I have money again, eh, I'll probably get it. <coughs> Very phlegmy today. And I got uh, Blue Oyster Cult, Secret Treaties. Blue Oyster Cult's a pretty good band. Everybody knows Blue Oyster Cult, though. I don't know what pressing this is, either. Doesn't really matter. And... Another Blue Oyster Cult. Um, apparently, I think this is their first one. Anybody help me? I believe it is. Self-titled, anyway. To my ears, they sound uh, sound like um, early Aerosmith. Some of their songs. And I got the Police. Zenyata Mandata, I guess. It's that cover. You know, you know, don't stand so close to me. I guess was the biggest, biggest one. It's a custom inner sleeve. <clears throat> Need to drink coffee. One second. Going on in twenty minutes here. That is getting cold. 
And I got the Dregs. This is another blind buy. I never heard of these guys before either. Um, just looked like something I'd be interested in, so checked them out a little bit on Google to see what kind of music it was, and said give it a shot. Oh, and I picked up a couple comedy records: George Carlin, uh, Occupation Fool, I suppose. I think this is a gatefold as well. This is the back cover first. And the gatefold. This is when he was really young, apparently, because he looks super young. I like George Carl, the George Carlin. So this was on a label I hadn't heard of. Get the record out here. Oh, shit. Yeah, little David. Little David, yeah. Never heard of that before. Billy Joel. Innocent Man. Someone's got uh, Uptown Girl. It's kind of when he. Uh, Started not being so good, I guess. Custom inner sleeve. Lyrics. This. And a Columbia Red Label. Like I guess there's not a lot of really anything special here. David Lee Roth EP. Crazy from the Heat. Just a Gigolo, California Girls, you know, that kind of stuff. Oh, I got this uh, ACDC, flick of the switch. Pretty bland uh, album cover. Some water damage on this, right here. At the bottom, right here, the back. Um, on the Atlantic like whitish bluish label. I thought it was a promo at first but it doesn't say promo anywhere. It's alright. Not a huge fan of ACDC but finding a record of theirs is great. And then, don't laugh, got Modern English. Um, what's the name of this one? After the show, this is the one with uh, I Melt. What is that? I Melt. I Melt with You. Yes, that's it. That's the only reason I bought it. I like that song. I don't think I've ever heard the rest of this album, so that might be the next thing I listen to. And then, I guess this is kind of cool Rolling Stones, Aftermath. <clears throat> this sleeve is beat to hell. Got a lot of water damage here. That's the back. I think, no, this is stereo. I thought it was mono, but it's not. It's on the London, London uh, label. There was, there was an album that was mono I had. It was, I don't know. I better speed this up. It's getting kind of long. Nobody wants to watch a 30 minute video of people just showing records. Especially Mr. Old Born and Me. Nazareth. Compilation. Not a big fan of Nazareth either. That uh, song, Hair of the Dog, just bugs me when it gets to the end. It just keeps repeating and repeating and repeating. Uh, George Carlin. I love George Carlin. Place for my stuff. George Carlin. That's got some water damage as well. Wish people take care of their shit. Oh, here's some jazz. 
loose, I don't know. Dizzy Gilles, Gilles, Gillespie. Dizzy Gilles, Gillespie. Gillespie. That's what it is. And this is the one that's in mono. It's on the Phillips. Phillips label. And then another one by him. Volume 2. I don't know if these are compilations or originals. This is on the, uh, you see that? Yeah. Greatest Records Archive of Folk and Jazz Music. Orange label there. I don't know what that is. This is simulated stereo. I really don't like that that much. But, you know, what are you going to do, right? Find a mono, mono copy of it, I guess. A couple more here. Aldo Nova. Subject. Aldo Nova. Her sleeve. A picture of him, I guess. Lyrics. That was pure 80s. Right there. Last one. The Righteous Brothers. Lost that love and feeling. I think this is mono as well. Looks like an older copy to me, but I don't know. I don't know all, all about that stuff. That's, you got that love and feeling. Coco Mo, which I don't think is the same song the Beach Boys did. It could be. I haven't listened to these, this yet either. So, And that, well, we got a couple CDs I bought too. Spin Doctors. What is this one called? Oh, Pocket Full of Kryptonite. Um, REM. Document. And... Where's the other one? Oh yeah. REM. Automatic for the people. That's it. I'm going to stop it because it's uh, 27 minutes. So until next time, so long.